Yo, explorers, welcome back to another vlog. I thought I would go ahead and make this quick little video today. Probably just not make any fancy intro. I could find something to use like drone footage or something, but it's probably not really worth it for this kind of video. And welcome to my greatest inspirational speech for humanity. <laughs> I just typed this thing up today. It's currently Tuesday, March 12th, 2019 of when I'm recording this. <laughs> and this is pretty awesome. It literally looks like a book. <laughs> And I emailed it to multiple people, and I'm probably going to put it on my website as well. And yeah, this is pretty much, I don't even know, who knows, I've said this before probably, but this is probably one of the greatest, like, things that I've ever created. Not like videos, but kind of like life advice or whatever. My well, van life compilation will probably always be the greatest, but this is cool too. So, alright now. Let me go ahead and start off with this cool little video. And I hope you get something out of it. And, alright, here we go. Okay. Just gonna read from my laptop down here. There are very few things we can be certain about in life, and one of the biggest is death. Everything else is secondary, including religion, meaning nobody can be absolutely sure that something they believe in will happen. Even all the choices we make are completely predicated by our experiences, how we grew up, what we learn, and especially how we perceive things. Regret is our biggest enemy, meaning your time will be over eventually. So please stop complicating everything. Completely avoid false theories such as flat earthers because those people are pretty much the worst to be around. And just start living your life already. A few suggestions I would give are eliminating any kind of negative news source because the majority of people in the world, including those who are not religious, are good kind-hearted and honest people that just want to live their life and also surround yourself with positive people both online and in person that inspire you the most accept everything that's guaranteed to be true and do something meaningful already trust me you've got it way better than your parents did so please avoid your old ways of thinking because a large portion of us millennials just want to live however we want all right, now moving on to stuff about myself. I've always seen myself as an inspirational and cool person who is fully independent and especially a visionary. We all have to start somewhere, and my way of starting is working towards traveling full time and a Chevy Express fan that will be converting to live in space. And the best way I can do that is by keeping my freedom and privacy by continuing to live in my building. <laughs> And, and that, that's pretty awesome. That's pretty cool. That's like perfect. Pretty much just the way I am. That's the way I am. So, literally. Uh, okay, moving on. I put on here, uh, you have no idea how much my life has improved. I'm literally the happiest I've ever been. And all I had to do was deploy self-awareness, throw away my junk, get rid of anything else that was bringing me down, <laughs> completely quit prescriptions, back on September 4th, 2017, and fully commit to my life goal. Now, after all of this, my perspective broadened, I found life balance, discovered my life purpose, and things started falling into place. I'm actually so dedicated to this that I'm calling my van the Adventure Express <laughs> and launching my first nonprofit organization called Rolling Revival that'll most, mostly be online and I also currently live off of five dollars a month through social security, which is amazing because I don't even have to work. <laughs> and most importantly, after two and a half years at working at Walmart, I'll have about three thousand dollars saved up to buy basic necessities for places such as churches, food banks, homeless shelters, and more. And what I'll be doing is splitting a hundred dollars between two organizations across thirty different locations and I'll truly be making a difference worldwide. I've even looked through all the reasons and everything in between about van life to the point where absolutely nothing is gonna change my mind, explorers. <laughs> it's literally as simple as buying a vehicle and I'm super excited for it, yo. By the way, I'm certainly not trying to judge anyone and or tell people how to live. All I'm doing is speaking my truth, which kind of involves giving people advice only if they're 
willing or uh what do i put on here again <laughs> hold on i'm trying to make this video as real as possible shoot i just <laughs> i just scroll <laughs> only if they're wait where am i at here <laughs> this is a funny part in the video <laughs> yeah oh yeah only if they're open to receive it all right moving on is one interesting fact about me is i stand for world peace so you can either accept it or don't but just remember, I'm never changing that. And one other thing, did you know that one of the biggest determining factors of human nature is communication? So moving on, finally, I like to share some of the things I live by and that keep me going in life. You can pause at any point on the screen if you want to read these, starting with my top five favorite motivational quotes. in my top four life values. So that's pretty much my explanation A why I'll forever be a life neutral traveling man. And this is a pretty cool little video I made here. And I guess I'm just gonna wrap things up. And also PS, please check out the rest of my YouTube channel and the links in the description of my top four greatest pieces of content. And yeah, this is pretty cool. So I'm still, trying to finish up, trying to get my score up enough for this last section of my GED. And once I pass it, you guys do not want to miss this next video I'm going to make. I'm going all the way up, like, to a pretty cool place. I don't want to say much about it. I just <laughs> wanted to be a surprise <laughs> because it's so cool. And yeah, I guess that's pretty much it for this quick little video today. Hope you enjoyed and got something out of it. And I'm not really reading anything else on here. I don't know why I'm looking at it. <laughs> And uh, yeah, I think that's pretty much it for this video, like I just said. And I guess I'll go ahead and wrap things up right here. So please go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe for more adventures to come. Thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Peace!